Hey, good morning church. Pastor James here with this week's Monday Minute, our bi-weekly bulletin today, the 18th of January. We've got about four and a half things to let you know about. First is growth groups. We've talked in the recent weeks and months about the different layers of relationships that we all need. And we use Jesus as the example with his three and his 12 and then a wider group. And we would see growth groups as being that middle layer. Some are running uh, various days, times, places. And for example, men's breakfast, they're able to meet safely and legally uh, in person. For more information about a uh, particular group, uh, if you'd like to start a group or details of who to contact to join a particular group, please do send me a message. Second thing is food drives. We've had a couple of people ask about food drives in the last couple of weeks. Uh, how can we serve the community in our very particular local area? So what we'll do is we'll put something together, some suggestions, things that uh, we've done before uh, that we know to work, and then we'll send it to you and encourage you and empower you to do it. Rather than dropping off all your stuff down here, we would encourage you to go out and be a blessing to those in your local uh, community. Third is something that I mentioned on Friday, and I said that if you commit to doing this with us, it will change your life. Uh, we're going to work through this course, this class called the New Testament in its world. Uh, it is the life's work of a couple of brilliant Bible scholars, and it seeks to look at the New Testament in its culture, in its context, in its history, in its language. And uh, it will literally change your life if you commit to doing this with us. Uh, it's a combination of video lectures and discussions. And we're going to do it in our home. Uh, 7.30 till 8.30, we're thinking probably on a Tuesday. Videos, discussions and probably some dessert as well. We want to comply with the, uh, the regulations and the rules in place uh, in Bahrain at the moment. Which means for you that there are just three more slots available to do this. What we want you to do is think very, very hard about if you're going to commit to this because Robin and I will commit to hosting you every week for this 37 week class. It's a year's commitment. We're going to run it over a year. We'll take some breaks uh, periodically throughout, definitely over summer times like that. But it, it will be a year to change the way that you read the Bible. It will be a year to change your life of faith forever. If that's something you're interested in, if you want more details about the class, the course, the books, just want to chat about it, please do send me a message. But fourth thing is our church app. As you can see now, it's a bit of a one-stop shop for all things Sarah Fellowship. You can get our daily devotional, our weekly uh, audio teaching through the Old Testament, uh, our kids' church teaching, the Sarah Fellowship podcast. You can put your prayer requests on there. It's a bit of a one-stop shop for everything Sarah Fellowship. You can download it from sarfellowship.com. Last thing, we're still in constant communication with the authorities here in Bahrain and the limit for in-person religious gatherings is still five. So we're going to continue with Church Online, encourage you to do Friday with a friend if you're comfortable, uh, if you want to. If you want to do that but don't know who to contact, contact us and we'll connect you with people as soon as things change. We will let you know. We've got a couple of potential plans in place, uh, but we just need things to change. If there's anything else that we can do for you during this time, please do let us know. We're here to serve you. We love you. And until we see you on Friday for Church Online, God bless.